Okay, we're moving on to our next segment with Brenda Godry in northern Manitoba. Today, we're heading out into the bush to gather Labrador tea. But before we do that, a quick reminder that the information related to traditional plant uses described on this program is in no way to be used or perceived as medical advice. Labrador tea likes to grow in uh, real moist wetlands, so if you're out looking for Labrador, try look for a stand of black poplar. Uh, that's usually where it's wet and moist. Uh, it likes growing in a moss area, and the bigger plants really like uh, growing in the shaded areas. Uh, I only harvest the leaves off the plant, so I usually grab the shrub. It's a little shrub, it usually grows between either one foot up to two feet high. I usually grab the base of the plant and then I just pull up and take the leaves. Uh, Labrador is actually, you could harvest it all year round, even in the winter time, as long as the snow is not too deep. But the best time, recommended time, is during the bloom season. Uh, usually the start of June, they'll have a nice blossom on it with a white flower. Uh, Labrador tea has been in our history books right from day one century, it's actually high in vitamin, natural vitamin C. So in the earlier days, it uh, saved many people from getting scurvy. Uh, it's actually, I make a tea out of it and it's good for uh, headaches, fevers. And if you're having a hard time to sleep in the evenings, I usually recommend having a cup of Labrador tea. I think there's still a need for that to go back to natural. If you start looking at the book, start reading, you'll find out what's out there and it's just amazing. It's just opened my eyes to what's out there. And there's potential for anyone to learn, to harvest, to use. Um, even for gathering food, there's lots of wild natural food. When you're making Labrador tea, make sure you boil your water on the stove first. Put your loose tea or your tea bags in the pot, pour your hot water in and let it steep. And never put a pot of water on the stove and all your tea in it and then boil it. Uh, it releases a toxin when you do that. So always pour your hot water into your tea bags or loose tea. <coughs> Natasha, would you like to try some Labrador tea? Definitely. That'd be great. What do you think? It is very mild and it's good. Yeah. I like it. It's actually got lots of medicinal uses too. It's good for headaches. It's good for uh, some people use it as a before bedtime to relax for insomnia. Well, thanks for that, Brenda. We'll have many more segments on wild plant harvesting in future episodes of Vitality Gardening.